I'm going to show you how to set the three clocks in the 2011 first gen Japanese import uh, Nissan Leaf. So I'm pretty sure that the 2011 Leaf has three separate clocks that are not actually linked. I think on the newer ones the clock on the stereo can set the clock on the dash and there's also a timer clock which controls the charge timer and the heater um, preheat setting uh, which I think is a separate clock and I'll tell you why I think that once I get there so firstly the clock on the dash that's on this model is set pretty easily using the menu down here um, on the dash basically you just push the menu button go down to oops, go down to the first option which is clock go down to the first option which is set clock and set your clock whatever you want to set it for that's done you can also while you're in there change it to 12 or 24 hour clock just by selecting one or the other I like mine on 12 done that's easy that is easy enough to do the clock on the nav system uh, this obviously applies to the G spec nav system like I've got here um, that clock is set using the GPS automatically uh, if the antenna is connected so if you want to override the time picked up by the GPS then you need to firstly remove the GPS antenna from the back of the navigation system uh, which you can do pretty easily you just pull this off uh, there's four screws holding the head unit in slide the head unit out disconnect the GPS there's tutorials on how to do that online it's easy um, and then put it all back together with the antenna left unplugged and then you need to enter the service menu in order to set the clock so to do that you press this three times uh, as quickly as it beeps basically uh, so three two one in that order and then you get the diagnostics if you've connected disconnected the GPS antenna and you go into the first option is disconnected uh, diagnostics you get the GPS is offline that needs to be offline in order to stop it from synchronizing the clock um, anyway so go into the second option which is settings and scroll down to this one here which is clock settings and you need to set the clock and the date in here however it's very confusing because as you can see it thinks the time is 610 however it's showing 9 a.m. The reason for that is, is this clock here is asking you to enter Greenwich Mean Time and then we'll add plus nine to that to make it Japanese Standard Time. So whatever you put in here gets nine added to it to become the display time because this is basically what the GPS satellite is going to give it. Uh, and then it adds nine to make it Japanese standard time because this car was only ever sold with this head unit in Japan the other markets may have, will have a different setting and different options but the Japanese one is restricted to the Japanese time zone it, there is another service menu that lets you set which Japanese time zone you're in by adjusting the minutes plus or minus but you can't change the hours or the or anything else that's all taken from this setting here so as you can see it's six 12 there, 9 a.m. there. So 6:12 New Zealand time is 6 a.m. plus three hours is 7:89. So 9 a.m. is going to equal 6:12 p.m. So this is obviously the month and the year. This is the day. This is the time. So a.m. p.m. Um, and this is the minutes so once you set the time 
the way you like it. It's just what it is now. Um, set save, and you'll see it reflect up there. So it's just set 9.13, it'll change to 6.13 because it's already 6.13. Um, and that's that part of it done. Um, I'm just going to break it to show you the other bit. So I'm going to set it to the wrong time. I didn't set it. Save. So that should put it to 8. Cool. Once you've done that, quit out of this menu. It will reboot. Now that does not set this clock in my car. On some cars, I'm told that once you do that, before you hit the save button, you can hit the power button on the car and then hit save and that syncs it to both but on my car that doesn't work I just hit that it just turns the car off and I lose where I was up to or it turns it on or whatever it changes it right so the last clock is the charge timer and the preheat cabin timer so when you go to set your timers you'll have um, the timer screen here you can set your timers and you get this you might not be able to turn them on or off and usually it's because the clocks are out of sync so I found that if you just muck around go and turn one on turn one off yeah, it's not gonna do it ah, and then you get this error and it's telling you what it's telling you is that the system clock the radio clock and the charge timer clock are not in sync and it has to be in sync for the timers to work otherwise you, obviously it's not going to charge when you think it's going to charge so this button here is basically resync my clock you do that and it's telling you it's going to resync the charge timer to match the radio time and now all three clocks, well mine's wrong so I just changed it, changed it wrong on purpose, but now you can set the clock. So those are the, the ways to set the clock on my car, 2013 or the generation 1 point whatever or generation 2, whatever you want to call it, uh, is different I believe, but I couldn't find this information, I had to figure it out um, from bits of other things, um, but I think that's all you need to know to set the clock there is another setting in this in the main menu which lets you turn this clock on and off on the dash so initially when I had it wrong and I couldn't figure out why it was wrong or I had the GPS cable plugged in I turned this one off completely so that I could just use the clock on the, the dash here um, which worked fine but setting charge timers and, and cabin heater it's like it'd be nice if everything was in the right time zone so this is how you fix it. Um, so you can turn this off if you don't want to see it. Uh, it's in one of the settings menus. I think it's in here. Settings. I think it's, yeah. So that's the thing and you can do 24 hours as well if you want to, if you prefer 24 hours. So that's under the main settings, the not secret service menu, just the normal settings. Uh, this is the minute offset I was talking about for the Japan Japanese time zones so you could there's no reason to use this once you've disconnected the GPS and you've set the clock manually anyway this is just to offset what the GPS picks up but the GPS is fixed to Japanese time so it's not really that good anyway cool yeah so I hope that helps you set the clock on your leaf without getting thoroughly confused like I did initially. Thanks.